Hey guys! So today is going to be my how I touch up or how I refresh my red hair. I'm um, not sure what the title is going to be yet, so I don't know what to say. I've been a redhead for the entire month of March and it's been pretty cool. So a lot of you wanted to see how I touch up my hair and whatnot, and a lot of you have been want asking me so many questions on about my darker red hair. If you guys don't know, um, I will link my original redhead video right here on how I went from brown to red hair. I was originally a very, very, very bright red color and I had to get rid of it because I felt like that color was really, really washing me out none of the colors that I was wearing were looking right on me and I was like okay I need to do something about this so <clears throat> I went back to Sally's and I looked around at their L'Oreal high color the same brand that I used the original time the first time I used L'Oreal high color highlights in red so I went back to Sally's and I decided to go with the darkest red that they had which was L'Oreal high color in red hot which is this one right here it's the same brand except it's high color instead of high color highlights the other box is red this one's black being that my hair was such that bright red color, it gave me like this really, really pretty like dark deep red color. I just used 20 volume developer which just looks like this and L'Oreal high color. I used two boxes and it gave me the color that I am now. A lot of you have been asking so how is it living with red hair? It's great. I love this color. I get tons of compliments on it. People always come up to me now when I'm out and ask me how I got this hair color and whatnot so I try to walk them through step by step. The only thing is is it fades very 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 did I say very quickly? Because it fades really quickly. My hair was probably like 17 different shades of red before I just re-dyed it. And that was probably from only washing my hair like six times. Every time you get in the shower, your hair is just going to bleed away. You're just going to see your beautiful color run down the drain. And it's really disheartening because I'm like, I don't want to take a shower because I don't want to wash my hair. I don't like washing my hair when it's red because when you first dye it, it's such an amazing like red color. And then like three weeks later, you've got like orange parts in your hair and like this part was really dark and then I had like red hot roots because you know your roots stay the best the longest because that's like fresh hair and then I had like dark regrowth so I was like oh god I gotta touch this hair up so you guys will see in the video how I do it it's pretty much basically the same also you'll see me using a protein filler in the video but I use the neutral protein filler this time which just looks like this but if you go to Sally's and you're gonna dye your hair red, definitely, definitely try to get the red protein color filler. I will put a link in the bottom bar so that you can see what it looks like because I don't have it. And the only reason that I didn't use it this time is because my Sally's was out of it. Weird, I guess everybody is dyeing their hair red. I didn't use a protein filler the first time I colored my hair red, but I did use it a second time when I got when I went to this red color because a protein filler is just going to help even everything out. It's going to not leave you patchy and it's actually gonna help your hair because it is protein. But just be careful because protein can dry your hair out. So just use a deep conditioner when, you know, you're done dyeing your hair. Um, what else do I want to talk about? A lot of you have been qu leaving questions on my Facebook page telling me that, you know, you have dark hair and you use L'Oreal high color in red hot and your hair doesn't look anywhere like mine. You have to remember that I didn't go from dark hair to this color. I went from dark hair to bright red to this color. That's why it's more of like a, it's a darker red, but it's a bright dark red. Like you can just, you can tell right away that my hair is red. You have to keep that in mind. I didn't go black to this color. I had that bright red color, which then, you know, gave it the color that it is now. Another thing, a lot of you have been asking questions about my hair extensions. How did I get them to match my hair? You guys are having trouble with that. Use a protein filler when you're coloring your hair extensions. It'll help even everything out. Um, the extensions that I'm wearing are Dolce Vita extensions, 220 grams, 20 inches. The original color that they were in was in Wheat Blonde. And to get them pretty close to my hair, I think they match pretty well. I dyed them a bright red color first. I think I used Beyond the Color Zone in Crimson Red. I'm not positive, but I'll put all that information in the bottom bar because I have the bottle somewhere in my bathroom. Um, but I dyed them a bright red color first, and then I went over them with L'Oreal High Color in Red Hot. Obviously, I colored them bright red, washed them, let them air dry, waited a day, and then I recolored them. I didn't do it all in one day. I mean, if you want to, you can. Their hair extensions knock yourself out. But I did wait a day in between dyeing my extensions as well. Another thing, shampoo and conditioner, you guys have been wondering what I've been using. I have not found a shampoo that I love. Um, I had the Riveting Reds, which, you know, this is the conditioner. Love the conditioner. The conditioner is amazing. It is a color depositing conditioner, so if you feel like your hair is getting a little washed out, definitely grab a color 
replenishing, you know, it deposits color into your hair. It is a red conditioner. Grab one of these if you feel like your hair is being a little eh. Um, but as for shampoo, I haven't really found one that I love. The Riveting Reds, I felt like it was really like building up and it wasn't giving me like a clean hair feel. Like when I would get out of the shower and start to blow dry, I could definitely feel like product in my hair and I don't like that whatsoever. I have been using the John Frieda Radiant Red. Yeah, Radiant Red. This isn't a color depositing shampoo. It is red, but it's not going to do anything. Um, it just says it pervert. It just says it preserves color and magnifies shine. Which, I mean, I have pretty shiny hair from dyeing it so much, but I do use the KQC Thermal Shine Spray, which I think adds a lot to it. But I don't really love this shampoo. Um, it's all right. I love the smell of it, but I don't know. I think I'm going to try some other things. So. But yeah, we're just going to get into the, it's not really a tutorial, it's just me showing you what I'm doing. Again, I'm not a professional, guys. I'm just somebody that likes to do her own hair because so many people have messed up my own hair and it's, I'd rather mess up my hair and be mad at me than somebody else mess up my hair, if that makes sense. Um, but if you do your research, you have the internet at your hands. If you're watching my video, you're connected to the internet and you can find any answer to any question you have if you just search for it if you're just patient if you just look for the answer you know google does have 700 pages if your answer is not on the first page try the second page so yeah just keep that in mind guys i'm not a professional i'm just showing you guys what i do hopefully you can pick up some tips and hopefully you can help yourself out like i help myself out so let's get into the part of the video where i'm showing you what i'm doing so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time i will talk to you guys soon also check the bottom bar guys i'm gonna stop rambling now because i've been talking a lot so yeah um <laughs> bye guys this is my hair probably about a month in so you can see my roots obviously there's a little bit of regrowth um, and then as for my red hair it's probably four different colors so I'm just going to take my neutral protein filler and pour it into a spray bottle because it's a lot easier to apply this way if you guys want full directions on how to apply this to your hair make sure you check the bottom bar so I'm going to let this sit on my hair for about 20 minutes like the bottle says and then I'm going to blow dry my hair so that it's not damp when I apply the color and then we'll come back and apply I'm the color. I'm going to be using L'Oreal's Red Hot. This one isn't going to be red like the other one so again you just want to pop, lock, and drop it. And this one's a lot easier to squeeze out. And then I use two bottles just in case because I never want to just run out. I'd rather have too much color than not enough, you know what I mean? So then these come with little red intensifiers. These things will stain you like nobody's business. So um, after you put in your color out of the tube, you just want to squeeze these little guys in there. And again, these little guys are no joke. Wear gloves this part, and it even says it. I'm actually just going to be using 20 volume today. Um, I know that it will lift my roots, no problem. So if your roots are a little more stubborn, you might want to go for 30, but I don't really want a lot of lift in my hair. Um, I just want the color to be deposited mainly. So since we used two tubes, we're going to do five ounces of developer. So there's our one ounce and here's our four ounces. Ooh. And then, of course, you just want to mix away. And then that, of course, should be your finished project, uh, what it should look like. It's going to look exactly the same as Red Hot, but don't worry, it won't be as bright. Okay, guys, and then it's the same exact way as in my previous video. I'm just going to work my way from the bottom up, applying the color. And yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, so just keep watching the video. Thanks, guys.
Ah, what is this? Look at my eyelashes. I don't know what is wrong with me today. <laughs>